And this is the video to blame for my latest obsession. Rhonda Draculis and RK3 Designs spray paint and alcohol with resin to create this awesome fractured look. Can I recreate this on a wine glass? So this is an experiment. You guys are first ones to see me do this. So I'm mixing 20 milliliters of my KS Resin Liquidy Split and I'm gonna drop in the KS Resin Liquid Resin Dye in Turquoise, my favorite color. I'm gonna drop in, I'm gonna put three drops, whoops, two, three, I'm gonna do four, because I want it to be opaque, but I don't want it to be super opaque. And I'm mixing it well, so this is 10 milliliters, and even though this is an experiment, I am going to make two glasses, because I always like to make, whoopsie, I always like to make a matching set of wine glasses, even when I'm experimenting and I don't know if it's gonna work out. So I've cleaned my glass and I have my fan going, my door Probably to my shop Probably would have been easier open. if I had put my glasses so on the I'm turner arm and set it to spin and then put the resin on like you would if you were doing any other on first. resin wine glass, but hindsight's 2020. Applying it by hand and then putting it on the and turner, it still the worked. Room. I'll do it next time. It have been a lot less mess just, and a lot easier. Yeah, this is off camera, but I'm the putting glasses it on, on first, my then applied the resin, and then stripped my gloves off to take them outside the paint or put new gloves on. Either way. I think I, I think I want to try this with a thin layer rather than a thicker layer because I can always come back and add a top coat. So this is probably, it's probably going to be around five to seven milliliters per glass that I've got on here. So I have moved this outside. We're going to give this a go. White spray paint and I'm gonna fog with the white and then I'm gonna spray it I'm gonna hopefully get some fracturing. Look at that. That is awesome. That's really cool. Just trying to move it back and forth to dry the spray paint or dry the alcohol a little bit and still keep the fracture look. I'm really liking that. I'm finding though that it's wanting to break up the um, the paint a little bit, but for the most part, it is keeping it is keeping the um, the look of the cell right there and the more I add the alcohol the more it's creating these new cells and new fractures um, and I'm really liking that this really has a lot of great possibilities this is adding more and more cells and more and more fractures and I'm being very careful with my alcohol. I'm I'm really not wanting to add too much alcohol because that will compromise the resin. 
and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to get this back on the turner and I'm going to bring out the other one. Let's try this one. I'm going to do it the exact same way in the fog. Probably should have taped my stem a little bit. I'm gonna put a little thicker on it. This oh, I almost grabbed my bug spray. So two and things I should have done here. Spray. I should have taped my stem so that I would not get any spray paint on the stem. And I also really I should have taped the edge um, slightly so I didn't get spray I'm paint turn on it as the, I spray. the edge. But and I'm noticing now that the thicker spray paint is taking a little bit longer fracture so it may be because ah, there we go so turning that a little bit we get, giving it a chance to to really create those neat cells I did not want to use a really fine spray though um, I should have used a thinner spray, but this is still, I should have not put so much spray paint on this one, but it's still a neat effect. Look at that. Let's see if we can refracture that. But I am going to add a top coat of clear resin so that I cover my color layer, if that makes sense. Let's see if I can add If we can refracture it. That already is creating a neat, neat look right there. Just adding that little bit of an extra spray paint. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, I'm gonna get this back on the turner. See, we're getting new, new fractures there. All right, I'm gonna add this back on the turner and let it spin. So this is at about 30 minutes, and you can see. I'm still getting a lot of cells, but I've lost a lot of the definition. So I still think these will, will turn out okay. Not exactly what I wanted. I want bigger cells like this, and I think I need to get that using a thinner fog thinner spray paint fog and then bigger drops of alcohol so that's going to be the next go but i i still think we can make something out of this stay tuned i've just pulled these off of the turner they're nice and cured i'm pretty happy with with how they've turned out the cells really stayed intact. I didn't get the, the large fracturing that I would normally get if this was done on a flat surface because a larger fracture does require a lot more alcohol. This is more of a fine mist. I, I just don't know if it would work with larger, larger drops. So this is the second one. I think this is the glass that I had a little bit heavier uh, coat of the white spray paint. So I didn't get the fracturing, definitely didn't get the fracturing that I wanted on this one. This one I did, this was a lighter mist and you can see the alcohol did um, allow the misting to separate. But the detail on this one is really much better much better on this one. I'm, I'm really happy. I actually, I'm happy with both of them. These, I'm putting the, these in my craft show booth and, um, you know, they, they should sell. Honestly, they, they should sell. It's a different look and people around here in, in coastal Florida, they like something different, but I'm going to give this a try. I think too, what, what I might have done what I might have done that I need to do a little bit differently maybe is a more opaque base color, definitely. Um, it's a little, 
I think I put a little bit too much ink on this one. But I'm going to give it another another go. I think I'm uh, since I did use spray paint in the on top of the resin, I am going to put another coat of clear resin, just a clear resin base coat, and I'm going to obviously I'm going to clean up the the stems a little bit. But other than that, we have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thanks for watching, and hope you learned something new um, and have become inspired maybe to try this on your own. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Please subscribe. Bye guys.